Hello, Admiral Seabass here, Russian turn five. Things aren't looking so great for the Russians. They are depleted. Uh, they have Germany marching on all fronts, though a little weaker in the south, threatening far more in the north. So that's where the Russians are going to concentrate their attack, is in the north. And they're going to leave some blockers behind in the south. And these guys are coming, are coming soon to help the fight. So only one attack, which is in Belarus. And uh, they're going to buy three guys for Leningrad, two tanks, and a mech, probably for Moscow. So uh, let's go ahead and move this battle to the battle board and then see what happens. So here's the Battle of Belarus. This is a pretty potent attacking force for the Russians. they got a mech, four tanks, a fighter, and an upscaled tactical. And that's what that looks like. They need four hits. And I'd say chances are pretty good that they'll get them. But uh, the Russians do have two heavy tanks defending, so they might be able to take out a couple of these armor if they can get armor target select. So let's go ahead and roll these first. The Russians looking for four hits. And they got two. So the Germans will take the mech, of course. They're the mechs. So the Germans will defend the mechs at two. And we'll roll these dice for the heavy armor because on ones they can target select. So they got two hits. Both heavy armor hit at four or less. Both mechs missed. So the Russians will probably lose a mech and a tank because that air force is really flexible. So going okay so far for both sides. Um... Germans, I think, could have expected they might have gotten wiped out in the first round, but they didn't. So now uh, the Germans will have three tanks, a fighter, and an upscaled tactical looking for two hits. And they got them. So both German heavy armor are casualties. And now the Germans will fire back two at four or less. And they got two hits, and they have armor target select. So, um, yeah, they'll definitely hit one of the tanks for one with their target select. And now the Russians have to decide how they take the other hit. And I think they'll take another tank for the other hit. So the uh, Russians took it back, but with pretty heavy losses. So Belarus is now Russian again. So Russians go up one. Germans go down one. And um, the Russian Air Force will have three left in their fuel tank to return, which I already had that there, so I'll just take that one out. Okay, let's think about non-combats, and we'll come back. Okay, there's my non-combat moves. The Far East Russians are now getting really close to the front lines here. These six guys are within one of Moscow. These guys are um, just behind. We've got blockers here in Baransk and Rostov. Whoa. And um, Air Force landed back here. Didn't make any other moves. So uh, that's it. Uh, we'll place units. I'm going to chip these guys out like this and put these three here in Leningrad for the defense of Leningrad. And then these two guys uh, will go there, and the mech will go there as well. So it's getting pretty thin for Russia. And um, they got more to deal with. It means UK is going to have to get in this war super fast. And or US is going to have to think about maybe hitting Germany instead of Italy. It'll be a really interesting turn for the US, which will still be influenced a lot, very heavily, by what Japan does over here as well. So Russia will collect 31 and they will get a bonus because there's no Axis warships in 125. Archangel uh, is controlled by the Russians and there are no other allied units in Russia. So they will collect 36, which is exactly what they had this turn, except they saved one. So um, they will get... 37 for next turn. That's Russia. Not looking so hot for them. They're still hanging on. But, and um, 
I think Germany will be able to build there in Ukraine next turn, which will be a big boon for them. I thought really hard about that, but the Russians just didn't have enough offensive power to hit more than one place. And with Germany coming up here, likely, Belarus, they needed to take out that stuff in Belarus, which that stuff in Belarus could have threatened Moscow when Leningrad falls. And you don't want that as the Russians. So that is Russian turn five, Admiral Seabass signing off.